Hey there, this is Chaitan and welcome to CR and Designers. In this Splendor tutorial, we are going to create a simple and decent looking design. So without further ado, let's get started. And please don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel for more Blender tutorials. To create this design, you need to add a simple plane. Then you need to scale this plane along the Y axis. Then select its top words and then scale these words along the X axis. Just adjust the proportion of this plane and then extrude it bottom edge along the y axis. Then select all the faces and then delete only faces. And then delete this edge and then select all the words and then press F to fill the gap. And then use the insert operation add there. You can see the shape add there. Then select everything and then press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. And then select these edges and you need to subdivide these edges. In this way so you will get the center words of these edges then one more time subdivide these edges and then select these words and then connect them then you need to select this face and then you need to select its top edge and you need to subdivide that edge and then create a cut by using the knife tool in this way so we will get the center edge for this face and now you dissolve these words then select these faces make a different object from them then select that center H then snap your 3D cursor to that center H and then set the origin to the 3D cursor and now you need to take the symmetry along the X axis then you need to join these two shapes together and then you need to merge the words in this way so you will get the proper shape at their proper design and then select everything and then press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged then you can use the knife tool and you can create a supportive cuts at there then snap your cursor to the world origin and then set the origin to 3d cursor and then take the symmetry along the x axis you will get this kind of design now you need to add one loop cut at there and you need to create a parallel edge for the previous edge which is there already that's why you need to use the little bit of edge slide at there and take the symmetry now you need to select this face and then press P for the selection to make a different object and move it here. And you need to create a little bit of design add there. Select that edge, snap your 3D cursor to that edge, set the origin to that edge, 3D cursor and then take the symmetry. And then you can move this edge in this way. And take the symmetry and merge by distance, double words will get merged. You will get this kind of 2D shape. Just move this shape add here on this border. And then adjust the scale a little bit. And this will be our cutter object. Then you can select these two objects and use the boolean operation slice. Then turn on wireframe and then shift D to duplicate this object and give the right position to this object here at the center. And then use the same slice operation. And then you can delete this cutter objects. And here you need to merge the words properly. So just select these words and then merge them. And same thing, select the words and then merge them. And you can use select everything and merge by distance. Then take the symmetry, dissolve these edge loops, and you will get this kind of shape, this kind of design. You can select these faces and you can delete these faces. Then use the knife tool and create a supportive cuts and then take the symmetry then apply the scale on the model and select these corner words and then add a bevel on them add one segment bevel then select everything and then press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged then use the knife tool and create a right topology by connecting the words you can dissolve these edges and you will get this kind of face loop then take the symmetry and you can see we are getting the proper face loops at there then you can select all the faces and then press i for the insert operation use small insert operation at there and then select everything and e to extrude it and extrude it along the z axis then you can add supporting loop cuts to maintain the form After adding loop cuts, you need to add sub D modifier and shade smooth it. You will get this kind of decent looking smoother form. Then add few more loop cuts to add more details on it.
Then you can select these faces with the shift select and then press I for the insert operation and then use the loop tool circle option and you will get this kind of circular shape just adjust the scale little bit and create circular boolean details at there that's not difficult and after adding these details design looks much more better small details also help us to create a decent looking design and you can see it looks really well now you need to turn off that previous 2d shape because i want to create an inner part of this design because it is the outer part so you will get this 2d shape just select this edge loops and then press f to fill the gap so we will get that inner part at there then select these faces and then press p for the selection to make a different object and you will get this inner part now you need to use your knife tool and you need to create some details on that inner part basically our design will look like this we need to add some details on that inner part turn on the matcap view and check the face orientation if it's strong then press alt n and recalculate outside let's create some details on this inner part so that's why you need to select these edges and subdivide them to get that center word for these edges and then connect these words same thing at here also and then just select these edges and one more time subdivide them create more loop cuts at there by connecting the words then you can add more loop cuts at there and just select these words and then connect them to create that design and then take the symmetry now dissolve some of the edges on the shape and then select these faces and then press P for the selection to make a different object then you can select these faces and then press I for the insert operation and you need to create the right topology on them you need to add support to loop cuts to maintain the form and you need to add thickness to it so you can add the loop cuts like this that's not difficult this support to loop cuts will help us to maintain their form then same thing at here you need to create the right topology at here by connecting the words and then you need to add support to loop cuts on it and then you need to add a little bit of thickness and then select everything and then you need to extrude it and extrude them along the z-axis to add the thickness and then you can add some demodifier on them by hitting Control 2 and you will get this kind of design just select these face loops and then press I for the insert operation to add support to loop cuts and now you can see the design looks really well we have created the right topology we have created right form right design so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel bye bye see the next video take care Where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small